Good morning Taurus and welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. I'm just going to dive on in Taurus and get started. Begin shuffling now. As I do this I just want to let you know today's going to be a bit, uh, today's going to be a shorter reading. Um, I'm not going to drag it out like I usually do so yeah just going to keep it short sharp and sweet here today. Uh, as always, Taurus, if you feel that you are connecting with the messages, then be sure to hit that thumbs up button to let me know. Otherwise, if you enjoy my readings and you like what you see, then be sure to stay subscribed. I am also over on Instagram for those of you who would like to connect with me on that platform. The reason why I mention that is because I do general readings over there as well. Um, and I offer exclusive content. So if you're down for that, you will find the link in the show more section. And uh, I am really excited, guys. I am in the throes of building my online shop, which maybe some of you might be interested in. Uh, if you would like to follow me there and support me, then you will also find that link in the show more section. Alrighty, Taurus, how are you guys? Been thinking of you, Taurus Moon here. Um, so I know how you feel. Okay, first card coming through is the Three of Pentacles. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ten of Pentacles. You could be married to someone here or you could see yourself really committing, having long-term long -term stability or security with someone here. You also have the Queen of Cups. You could be connecting to a Cancer, Cancer Scorpio Pisces at this time. Uh, but I feel that there is a lot of feelings here for this person. This person may have strong feelings for you. Uh, but there's a lot of love, feelings and, and care here. We've got the strength in the reverse. You could be connecting to a Leo Taurus. And we have the Six of Pentacles reversed. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Seven of Wands reversed, okay? So overall energy is the Seven of Wands reversed. And I see this as... I see this as maybe one of you or both of you looking at the situation, thinking, you know what, I'm not going to fight for this connection. I'm not going to fight for this relationship. It should be easy. It should flow. It shouldn't be difficult. It shouldn't be hard. For others of you with the fall here, you could be connecting to an Aries, but I see, you know, wanting a new beginning, wanting to start fresh. The fall also speaks to taking a risk, taking a chance. And I feel here with these two cars, it's like I'm going to surrender and whatever happens, happens. It's like that. It's like that energy here. Yeah, I feel with the strength in the reverse, this is like I'm not forcing, I'm not pushing, I'm not doing anything. I'm just sort of like relaxing, I'm leaning back. This could be the energy of the person that you're dealing with. This part of the reading, guys, it's a two-way street. Could either be you or it could be the person, the other person that you're dealing with. For singles, this could be the new person, okay? I see with the Six of Pentacles, either this dynamic has shifted or it's, or the situation is changing. Okay, so there's something changing here for you. But I feel like tables are turning, Six of, six of Pentacles reversed, tables are turning. I see here with the Nine of Pentacles, um, Taurus, you don't want to be single. You don't want to be alone. I feel that you would ultimately, with the Three of Pentacles, really want to give it your best shot or you really want to work at something here. Okay, it's like before you opt out, you want to know that you've given it everything that you've got with the Three of Pentacles. I see here that maybe you, because you're an earth sign and pentacles speaks to earth, I feel that you are in a position, you are willing to meet in the middle. You are willing to compromise. With the nine of pentacles underneath that, you could be dealing with someone who is rebelling against trying to meet in the middle. Okay, this could be a one-sided situation for some of you. Okay. 
I see the Ten of Pentacles as either um, this is someone that you're already committed to, someone that you could see yourself committing to, see yourself having a long-term steady relationship with. You can see growth here or you would like growth, or you would like to at least get to the next level. But I do feel with the Seven of Wands, you're not forcing this. You're not forcing to have that. It's like, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Mm. I feel with the Queen of Cups, there is nurture here in the situation. So I feel that you're tenderly nurturing this connection or tenderly nurturing this relationship. Let's just um let's just clarify this nine of pentacles. I'm just gonna go in to clarify this nine of pentacles. Spirit, angels and guides, can we clarify this nine of pentacles reverse for our Taurians? Oh, two cards. The moon reversed and the ten of wands. Yeah, I feel ultimately um, there is a fear here or there's an underlying fear here of being single or being um, like left alone or being by yourself for a very long time, you would rather with the Ten of Wands work at it, do everything that you can to ensure that you've done everything you can to make this work or make this stick. But at the same time, you're like, I've given everything that I've got. Now I'm just leaving it in the universe's hands. Okay, let's take a look at how this person is feeling. Let's get more about this person. Mm. But I feel things, have, yeah, I'm, I'm sensing here, Taurus, for you that you feel that you have given everything you've got. You're starting to feel exhausted and tired. Um, it's starting to weigh heavy on you because if it is one-sided, like it should take two people to want to work at this. But I do feel this week that the dynamic is shifting. Your attitude towards the situation is shifting or vice versa. Let's take a look at how these healing family issues. This person could be needing to heal some family wounds or some family issues here. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So I feel maybe this person that you're connecting to has some, you know, inner child wounds that are coming up or they're surfacing at this time because we do have the Ten of Pentacles here. And Ten of Pentacles is a card of belonging. So this person feels that... I'm getting for some of you that maybe their family doesn't accept you or doesn't like you or... I don't know why I'm getting that. That's really horrible, isn't it? honeymoon yeah I feel that this person maybe needs I'm getting with the honeymoon like time out I'm, I'm sensing here that this person needs some time out I'm looking at the water it looks very still so I feel right now the emotional waters between the both of you has maybe calmed down or will die down due to this person taking some time out to do some healing Okay. Flirt. I feel that this person, if they are in communication with you or if they are talking to you, they will extend lighthearted energy your way. This person could be also... Um, yeah, I was going to say that they could be flirting with others as well, like during their honeymoon phase or their time out phase. I'm getting that this person could be flirting or there could be someone flirting with this individual. Let's just expand on the flirt card, please, Spirit. 
If that doesn't speak to you, then this person is um, flirting with you. We've got the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles here. Yeah, so this person feels this week, Taurus, if, you, if you're if you coming to this point with the Six of Pentacles reverse, you know what? I'm starting to change my attitude towards this. You could be coming through as the Five of Pentacles in the upright where you're kind of focusing on yourself, working on yourself, focusing on other areas of your life. And in turn, this person is feeling rejected or this person is feeling shut out or left out or this person is feeling like you're not giving them attention like you used to or you're not working or pushing to make this work like you used to. Okay, so I see them kind of like, hmm, I haven't heard from my Taurus today. Let me send them a text message. But I feel with the flirt card that it's going to be a text message or a or a message or a phone call that is intended to uh, get in your good books, like make you laugh, make you smile. Does that make sense? But I do feel with the Eight of Pentacles reverse that this person is really trying to get to work on themselves here, Taurus. Okay, really trying to get to work on themselves and heal some family issues that stem way away from the past. Look at this page of cups at the bottom of the deck. This person could be younger than you. I do feel that this person is going through an extremely emotional time. They do seek your nurture here with the Queen of Cups. She's very supportive. So perhaps this person is seeking your reassurance or seeking your nurture. Because we do have the Page of Cups here coming through. There's an insecurity coming through with this person. Mm. So there's your reading, Taurus. Hopefully this resonated for you at this time. Until next week, I'll speak to you soon. Bye, guys.